Hey guys, Decap13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem 12. In the last episode, we cleared out uh, Chapter 12, Graveyard of Dragons, and this episode we're going to move on to Chapter 13, Frozen Land. Uh, actually, before we get started on this, I just need to check something real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's get started. <sighs> chapter 13, Frozen Land. This was truly a journey beyond all imagination. 5,000 meters. No, perhaps even higher than that. The clouds are already below them. They ascend the frozen mountain. Suffocation. Vertigo. They were already approaching the limits of their strengths. Well, John, is everyone making good use of the drill grounds? Of course, if you win often, you'll be that much stronger. John, you... Hmm. You... It seems you haven't won much yet. Are you purposefully... Are you purposely avoiding the drill grounds? S sorry I don't really have the money, so... Well, it's fine if you're not struggling now. But when things get tough, that experience will be the clincher. Just remember, if you ever feel that your foes are too strong, there is a place where you can hone your skills. Alright, uh, actually before we do do anything, I want to take the time to, to uh, upgrade Malisha. She is definitely the most deserving of an upgrade. Let's get rid of that heal staff real quick. Oh, no, I want to retrieve. Let's get our master seal. Get some pretty nice stats from it. And now she can use tomes as well, so let's give her a tome. Uh, let's give her a thunder. That's all I want to do here. I don't know what I'll do with the uh, energy drop. I find all the stat boosting items I have and send them to the convoy. You know what? You don't need that, that's all. Actually, hold on. Let me get you another. Oh, I thought I had. Oh, wait. Yeah, you know what? Here, you can have my blizzard tone. And then I want to take that shaver tome from the convoy. Seven. Figure out who I want to use that on. Let's send an arm scroll to the convoy too. Killer bow. We have a couple armor slayers. Start training up some more people, definitely. Probably a little later on when we actually have a lot of money to spare, I'll do that. silver bow that you can use. Let's store that other steel bow you have. You can use a steel axe now, I just realized. So let's give you... 
Yeah, because we have a lot of steel axes. Get you a new armor slayer too, all come on. Yeah, because we have a lot of those. We're gonna have the master sword too. Henri's way. Thanks to the heroic people of Altea who stood up to protect the princess, the people of Arcanea came to know that she was alive and resumed their battle against Dolor. Their liberation army le was led by Duke Cartas, who fought with the royal shield given to him by Artemis. And thanks to their efforts, the tides of battle turned to their favor. However, the King of the Earth Dragons, Medeus, finally decided to make his move. Medeus? Before his overwhelming might, it seemed like Altea's resistance wouldn't last any longer. But then, a sage bef appeared before them. He spoke of a divine sword enshrined in the Ice Shrine in the distant north. With that blade, it would be possible to fail Medeus, but the way to obtain it would be by no means easy. And that would be Henri's way, the way we're going through right now. We've passed the Desert of Death in the Fire Dragon's Graveyard. The last of Henri's way leads to the Ice Dragon Shrine. If we obtain the Light Sphere from Lord Goto, we'll be able to combat the Dark Sphere that controls Harden. And then we might, just might be able to s reclaim Altea and save Harden. Alright. Sir Ogma. John, huh? What the hell are you planning? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. Lately in the battlefield, you've... Yes, I've been watching you and learning from your fighting. I'm sure I already told you. I'm a mercenary and an ex-gladiator. I'm a far cry from the chivalry you seek. Indeed, I thought so at first, too. That your strength lay in the fact that you fought your way through the gladiatorial, lawless battles. But having, you wa having watched you long and well and in the hopes of stealing your techniques, I finally understood the truth. That you possess the same heart as us knights. The same heart, you say? Yes. There is somebody inside your heart. And you fight for that person. Am I right? I don't know if it's loyalty or some other feeling. But you're offering your body and soul for that person. Much like a holy knight. And that's your true strength. My grandfather used to say this. He who fights for himself is strong indeed. But he but the truly strong are those who can fight for someone else. Battle tells a person more than word. Tells more about the per eh, Battle tells more about a person than words. Sir Ogma, I respect you. For you're a gladiator with the heart of a knight. Therefore, I shall stay by your side. Please, let me learn from you. An invited apprentice, is it? Do as you will. Yes, thank you very much. Alright, got a lot of John supports. Sir George, we're counting on you. Might I say, it is an honor to fight alongside one who is acclaimed as the finest archer, the finest archer in the continent. The finest in the continent? I'm sorry, but that's a gross exaggeration. Please don't mention it again. Huh? Why? I hail from a noble family, you see. And somebody within my family just spread that claim for fame and nothing else. 
I'm not actually that great. Ah, uh, I see. By the way, may I ask you something? At Chasmere Bridge, why were you... Defending the castle, even though I'm an archer? Uh, yes. Well, it was quite fortunate for us, but... Truly, bows aren't suited for defending castles. If the enemy gets too close, there's nothing we can do but pray to God. However, Hardin fully knew that, he, that when he ordered that guard duty. In other words, that's right, basically an execution. He might as well have told me to die defending the castle. But why would he... I kept pointing out the errors of his ways, and I didn't support Lang to boot. From Hardin's viewpoint, I was nothing but a hindrance. I thought that I should die there too. But John, you and the others reminded me where my reminded me of where my loyalty truly lies. For that, I thank you. <sighs> Oof, sorry. The pleasure is mine. I am thankful to be able to fight alongside you, Sir George. This pendant. Who does it belong to? This emblem. Isn't this House Macedon's? Sir John, that's... Ah, uh, I apologize. Did you drop this, Princess Minerva? Yes, sorry. Actually, I've been looking for it for quite some time. I see you found it. You have my thanks. Yes, ma'am. I received this from my mother when I was still young. Michaelis, Maria, and I. The three of us have the same pendant. So Prince Michaelis, too. Yes, we three used to be very close a long time ago. But as you know, in the previous war, Michaelis and I fought as enemies. I was on Prince Marth's side, while Michaelis was on Medeus's. Those days when we laughed together are sadly a relic of the past. However, I've severed my ties with him. The War Council will begin shortly. Let's go, Sir John. Yes, ma'am. It's pretty sad. Sir Etzel, it's time for the meeting. Hm? Oh, got it. Sorry, I'll get going right away. That ring... Is it dear to you? Yeah. Can you tell? Uh-huh. You seem to stare at, every, stare at it every now and then. Was it a gift from somebody close to you? Kind of. This is a memento of my late wife. I see. I'm sorry. No, it's alright. My wife dreamed of a peaceful world, and I'm fighting to make her dream a reality. But, I suppose I think of her too much. He's just getting more depressing as they go on. Gordon and George. <gasps> yeah! One, two, three... Whew, five, huh? Aren't you full of enthusiasm today? Ah, Master George! Were you watching? I was indeed. That's an awfully straight face for someone doing something so fun. That's mean, Master. You should have said something if you were watching. Watching over his little student's staggering efforts is the duty of a teacher, is it not? Knowing you, you were probably laughing at me instead. That was the idea, but I got distracted. <laughs> so you were planning to laugh after all. Shaking the tree with your first shot, then hitting as many falling leaves as you could with your second shot. I'm impressed. In your first shot, you put all your strength. In the second... Concentration and precision are the key. Moreover, if those two shots aren't fired in rapid succession, and there aren't any leaves left to shoot. Pretty well thought out, if you ask me. That's Master George for you. You've seen right through my training. So, this is the secret of Altea's finest archer has come to light. <sighs> no, you're exaggerating, sir. No, I really am not. Look at you. You were a child, a mere apprentice when we met. And now, you've grown so much. It was all thanks to your guidance, Master George. <laughs> <laughs> of 
Flattery will not get you everywhere. But it's true. As your master, I ought to give you one last lesson. One last? Stand back, Gordon. Y yes. Yeah. What? How many? T Twelve. <laughs> Not too shabby for my first try. That, that's just so cool. Uh, and I thought I was doing pretty good too. <laughs> Thanks for showing him up, George. We. Yes, that was some fine hip shaking. And now a bit of this and that. I can't say I hate training. It makes me feel stronger. I picked up something weird. I should report it. Used potion. I don't like training. But it's better than just praying for people not to not die in the war. Oh? Could this be a star shard? Nope. Speed potion. Hey, I could use one of those. Yeah, where... Where's that speed potion? Stir that men stay real quick. I wonder, could I also s No, I'd probably just get rid of my speed buff if I used magic plus two. Oh well. I think we're pretty good. 20 minutes and we're starting. Let's go. Are we there yet, Zane? We've climbed so high already. It's freezing and it's becoming increasingly difficult to breathe. Just hang on a bit longer, Princey. <laughs> Look, you can see it, right? That's the Ice Dragon Shrine over there, where Goto is waiting for you. You know, I must admit... I was shocked when you told me that Tiki was the daughter of the Divine Dragon King. And that you and Goto are both Divine Dragons. Oh, yeah. But, you see, after the war, Goto and I threw away our Dragon Stones. So I can never be a dragon again. Sure, Goto still stands by Naga's command and watches out for humans. But that ain't my thing. You see, I don't like humans. I've got nothing but contempt for those who treated the defenseless Manakeets like insects. So I can understand why Medeus despised you humans so. Medeus, an Earth Dragon Prince, was the only one of his tribe who became a Manakeet. And as ordered by Naga, he, d he guarded the Dragon's Altar. But the once peaceful human race, drunk with power, began to rule with tyranny. They oppressed the Dragons who had done nothing wrong. Furious at their betrayal by humans, the Manakeets gathered in Dolor, and they created a nation for their people. Then they fought to conquer humanity. To save the humans, Goto gave them the Divine Sword Falchion. He established an academy in Kandain and began to teach magic. Me? I was just an onlooker. Winner or loser? It was no concern of mine. But then, why help me? I too am a human. You're different. You seem kind of flaky. I can't exactly leave you alone. Martha's the flaky one? I'm pretty sure you're really damn flaky yourself, Zane. Uh, thanks, Zane. I... Oh, look at me. I'm blushing. Anyway, let's head to the shrine. Watch out for the ice dragons. Even though they've lost their minds, they still protect the shrine instinctively. Poor creatures. Alright. Oh, we got a bunch of silver weapons now. Ugh. Bul- Excuse me! Does motherfucker have Bulganone? Damn, these ice dragons are seriously everywhere, though. We have someone to recruit over here. We have Beck. I think we have a couple treasure chests, too. Now, if I, now, I'm remembering this correctly, but if we want 
the parallel. We can't let both of the thieves escape. So, what we're going to do... There are, what, three chests on this map? We'll have Militia open this one. So then the thieves will have to go around to the other chests. Then we can do that. I think it's safer if we try to take the fight this way. I could be wrong, though. Because there, there's this mage, too. Well, eh, you have 13. You're doing 10 to Minerva, so that's not too bad. Yeah, let's, let's use the Dragon Pike. This Ice Dragon is just a pain in the ass. She's a goddamn good ass unit. I could try to take these guys out. August's doing 30. He's taking 14. Is that me? That is me. How much am I doing to these guys? I'm doing 15 times 2 with Shaver, it's 13 times 2. Uh, hmm. But I'm also in range of both of these guys, because this fucking guy is a tomahawk. However, if I do put Ogma here, he can't attack. Yeah, I think it'd be better for me to go in and weaken. Oh no, I'd be able to get hit from that tomahawk. It's 27 and 23. Minus my four defense. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work out well for anyone. Well, unless you have some people with good defense like Ryan. Uh yeah, let's have him go with Ryan's bow. Then I'll send it. Hey, there we go. We get yeah, Ryan. That's my fucking boy. That that's a good boy right there. Oh, fuck yes. That is a good boy right there. Oh right, I was gonna have Malisha open that chat. Ah well, fuck it. I have ten res. I'll try to tank some of this magic. Um, what should I use? Slay. I do have higher crit and hit. Yeah, let's go with Shaver. Alright, uh, we need Marth to go this way. Because of... And I'll send it. Yeah, I'll also send Etzel and Sheeta this way. I mean, Daros and Sheeta this way, too. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh! Oh no! Oh dear! That didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Okay, so he's going after George. That's fine, because George will fucking annihilate your dumbass. Thanks, George. Alright, oh, he's actually going after Theros. Oh, crit crits galore. This is you see, this is the shit I like to say. Ryan, close up. That's fine. Oh god, the ice dragons. I forgot about them. I didn't think they'd start aggroing yet. I 
everything is moving right now. This is very not... Oh, Jesus Christ. I do not like that at all. Uh, but you know what? Let's use Thief on this. Hey, a Dragon Pike. Alright, Thief Staff broke, that's fine. George... Yeah, use the Silver Bow. Oh, jeez. Gordon, why are you so fucking... Oh, uh, why don't I have Gordon? Still, he's not gonna do too good here. I just realized I didn't give myself back, uh... My men's stave. Or any kind of healing whatsoever. That's unfortunate. You do damage based off of your strength. Alright, convoy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna need some vulneraries. Okay, where do we start? Uh, I say let's start with this thieve with eleven sword. Uh, let's go with steel ants. Blood for Sheeta. Nice. Nice, level Marth. Um, okay, you're gonna need 26. You know what? Daros. Oh, and I forgot you could also finish this guy off. Um, Etzel, what are you doing to this mage? 15, he's doing nothing. You know what? Take it. Just take a little chip experience. I'm gonna finish off this guy. Level up. Not bad. Ryan can kill this mage yeah, with his bow. Got a Vulnerary. Then I'm gonna put Daros here. I'm gonna have him actually take a Vulnerary. Have to use Potion that restores a little HP when he's used. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, didn't want to take two. One is fine for now. Alright, here come the dragons. Thirteen. And I think Daros is doubling too. Should be. Nope. Alright, there's another dragon. Those guys gotta come after us. Oh, here come the wyverns, too. I forgot about them. Oh boy. I can take out this one. Daros is going to double that one. How about Marth? Marth won't be able to kill. Uh, what are you doing, Gordon? Two? Fuck it. Cool. Thanks for the assist, my dude. Ooh, and then Marth can kill. You know, or, or, or maybe not, you know, I, 
Thanks, Ogma. Fucking god damn it. Like, are you are you fucking kidding me? Alright, Malisha Men George. Minerva can almost kill. One HP. Oh, now this is gonna be fun. Take out one of them. Uh, hold on. Okay, we're still not in your range yet. Oh, and I gotta be careful of the ice. Uh. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking. At least Ryan doesn't disappoint me. There's me. I shouldn't die from that. Four, my four defense against your 28. Oh, you're doing 24 to me? Yeah, that's not enough to kill. We're cool. Yeah, there we go. Hey, and I actually fucking dodged it. Yo. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Can I do that more often? Oh, you're going after Malish? Hey, not a kill, but she's still alive. It's a kill for her, though. Not a single... Oh, Malisha, why are you disappointing me now? I don't think it's important if one... I think one thief can escape. You have a killing edge that... You don't even drop, so it's fine. Yeah, he's probably gonna get away next turn, but I really don't care at this point. Okay. Let's see. Oh, hey, yo, Daros, you're so fucking cool. Oh, Ogma can do this, too. Alright, cool. So, yeah, Ogma, you go and fuck up this guy with Bolganone. Daros can go attack this guy. I'd love for Daros. How you doing, pirate brother? Actually, you're doing really fucking good. Yeah, fuck it, I'm taking this kill. Fuck you, Gordon. <laughs> Strength, skill, speed, and luck. Couldn't get magic? Oh, I'm in range of you now. What, my four defense? Now oh, you're doing 20. That should be okay. Sweating a little bit, but I should be fine.
I move Marth across the river, he's gonna be okay. So let's put the steel sword in wait. Then I can have Etzel come over and heal me. Alright, yeah, Gordon. Alright, so the thief got away, but that's fine. We killed one of them. Hey, Sheeta. Can you get another? And you're going after me, yep. I mean, hey, I don't mind. More experience for me, that's cool. Fortunately, I can't cross the water. is just enough. Good luck for Sheeta. She's getting some amazing levels too. Let's open this. Ooh, good, another Worm Slayer. We have one chest left to open, All right? The one over there. Uh, first we should probably make our way over to Beck to recruit him. Oh, George can cross this. And we have an ice dragon over here. A lot of shit over here too. There's our boss, though. I'll never have that beat that one out. Couldn't double. Hey, level up for Minerva. Oh, there's the dragon pipe. I, I had just two uses left anyway. Let's heal Minerva. Oh, actually, you know what? Even though I just used up that dragon pike, I have another. Got a bunch of mages now. Be nice if I could just easily walk over there because I could tank all the mages' attacks. That's 13 damage he'll do. 13 times one. He'll do 11 damage to Marth. Take care of that. 
Wow, her speed's already capped. Jeez, Shida. Alright, because Marth will survive, and then he can just walk across. I think. Hopefully this plan works. If not, then I'm... Fucking sorry, Marth. Down that fort. And Minerva can get the boosted defense. And she'll take on two of the dragons. Those mages can't cross the river to get to us, so that's good. Stay like this for now and see what happens. Sorry about that guy, said the handle stuff. Oh, he didn't even come and attack me. Fucking goddammit. Oh, she could finish you off with the steel axe. I'm actually starting to think, is this the case of one of those enemies that isn't going to attack us? So I'm, I'm going to test this. A 25 attack. I'll survive. Yeah, he, he is one of the enemies that doesn't attack us. Son of a bitch. You, you're back. To think we'd meet here of all places. <laughs> you know, I just realized something too. They don't have other units in this game. That's why they all have to pierce enemies. Me too, Prince Marth. Boy, am I surprised to see you. It's been far too long. After the war, I was traveling the continent. And, um, somehow... You landed up here? Well, thank goodness. There's no way you would have joined the Barbarians. Back, we're fighting another war. Why don't you come with us? I don't have my ballista anymore. Just my horse buddy right here. But if you're fine with that, then sure. I'll help you, Princey. Thanks, Beck. All that's left is just this tightly clustered group of enemies. And I don't think they'll move for anything. I mean, I could try baiting them out with George. Let's see what happens if I do. Because I could always heal him up with Malisha. Mm. 
nothing. Alright, so they're seriously not going to approach us until we get really close. I definitely want to deal with those mages first, though, because those are going to be such a pain in the fucking ass. Take 13 from each one. So that's 26. Oh, he, he might actually fucking die, but uh. If I get in close to Daros, what's he gonna do? He'll annihilate, of course. He has 13 death as well. You know what? I, I might as well just get rid of the mages now. Let's see if this even hits. It does. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal with Malisha. There goes that one, then Daros can wipe this one off the face of the her planet. God damn, Daros is fucking amazing. Alright, so let's heal George, because if we don't heal, he'll, die. he'll actually fucking die. Oh, and hey. Minerva, can't you take out one of the drag- Minerva. You, you, you're really making up for, uh... You're really going in. And I appreciate that. I wanna try to get... Marth over that chest. That's gonna take a while, though. Yeah, you're gonna be George. Up oh, and George dodged an 84. George, you're fucking great. Oh, hey, Ice Dragon, re reinforcements. That's fucking cool. And they're all on forts. That's nice. Oh, damn, he's just short of being able to reach. Oh god, Beck. Oh god. Minerva can take care of this one. Or, no she can't. Beck cannot finish that. No one else is in range. That's, that's, that's real fucking cool. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh... Daros can do something. Oh, hey, he actually dodged that other one, too. Man, I really fucked Ogma with that placement. Let me try going in the forest with you. That, that, that might help a little bit. I don't know if Sheeta can do anything. Six times two... Uh... You come to me with that. die from this ammo. 20, yeah, I'll, I'll live. Sort of. But you're probably just gonna attack back. Because you can't counter. Who's still left? Oh, you guys. Dragon's gonna recover a little bit of health. Go after me. That's cool. If I kill the boss, will I have to worry about reinforcements anymore? going after Ogma. That's fine. Ogma can handle himself.
Oh my god, it's it. Mm. I need to get this. I need to fucking move my ass. Because this is not okay. Oh, I only had one charge left in that L fire. Well, damn. Dragon Pike that kills. I'm safe. Get on that fucking fort. Someone. Daros, what are you doing? Oh, Daros, you're actually not doing too hot against that dragon. Try hand axe. Hey, you hit. He's gonna heal back all that fucking damage, though. I am surprised that he hit a... What, a... 13%? No, 51? Oh, right. Shia, you need to fucking move. Now, we're standing on these forts to prevent reinforcements. He's recovered all his fucking health. Okay. No more reinforcements for now. Yeah, just use the dragon pike. Up, up. Too. Well, you you tried, Sheeta. You tried. Augman needs some health, and he doesn't have any vulnerary. So yeah, we'll do that. Oh, he's doing less now. <laughs> Go over with Ryan. Sheeta, you can take a break there. It's just Daros. Yeah, it's just Daros, okay. Alright, Dragon gone. Hopefully that's the end of the reinforcements. down bit by bit. Or not. We, we, we'll have to see. This is going to be such a long fucking episode. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind. Oh, this boss is a pain in the ass. <laughs> What's your res? You, you even have 12 res. God damn. I'm not, move, I'm not even gonna bother moving anyone else. Mark, just get, get your ass over to that treasure chest. We need you. I can do 12 with Shaver. And a crit. Oh, are you fucking dead? Yeah, you're fucking dead. Mmm. Hell yeah. Go me. Now, why, why can't I get more level ups like that all throughout this fucking playthrough? Magic speed res. Yes. Hey, and spirit dust. Yo, you know who that's going on. Alright, I think I fulfilled the requirements to get to 13x. Hopefully. Alright, map cleared. 
there's something that's been bothering me. The five orbs are very important, correct? But Lord Goto never told us much about them. Do you know anything about them, Zane? Well, Goto kept his li lips shut because he was afraid of giving you a heart attack. Tell you what, I'll tell you about them. But I have to warn you, it's a long story. The orbs are meant for the shield that binds the Earth Dragons. In other words, there are ones embedded in the shield itself. The orbs have been handed down for generations amongst the Divine Dragons, and each contains a hidden power. The shield itself is but a pedestal for the five orbs to release their innate powers. If even one orb is, orb is missing, the seal's a goner. I see. But if that's the case, why were the orbs separated? Because the shield broke. The binding shield that was enshrined in the Fane of Raman was stolen. When exactly did this happen? 600 years ago, I reckoned. Goto scoured the land searching for the shield, hoping to get it back. He managed to retrieve the five orbs, but in the end, he couldn't find the shield. Then, in the last war, the Fane of Raman was looted and the orbs were scattered once more. I see. So the orbs that Lord Goto lost, he's searching for them again. Yep, I'm sure you know about the Star Sphere, Light Sphere, and Geo Sphere, but there's also the Dark Sphere and the Life and the Life Sphere. Goto's got the Light Sphere, but the Star Sphere is in pieces. And it sounds like Garnif gave the Dark Sphere to Harden. The Geo Sphere is in Altea, so all that remains is the Life Sphere. Anyway, let's go inside. I'll be helping you too. Now come on, Princey. Sire, please wait. John, you as well. I just received a distressing message. People have been sighted not far from, far from, eh, far behind us. There seems to be a battle underway. Out here? Could it be the barbarians? Or perhaps, perhaps it's the assassins? In any case, this area is almost entirely uninhabited, so it can't be any old people. To make matters worse, the snow is becoming heavier. Fighting will be difficult in this weather. But if there are allies... Indeed, we cannot abandon them. If there are allies, then... If there are allies, that is. Then we'll just have to find out for ourselves before the battle is over. Let's go! Oh, right. I forgot that the next map has fog of war. That'll be fun. Alright, so yeah. Uh... We'll continue next episode, Chapter 13X, White Darkness. I will see you all then. Bye!